Thanks for allowing me to share my 1958 Bentley S1 Salon S with you. Uh, the Bentley's S's were built from 1955 through 1959, so this is one of the later editions. It's 4.9 liter six cylinder engine, made Bentley's traditional adequate horsepower more than adequate. Um, this car is uh, from the era when uh, when the B Bentleys uh, were considered uh, the standard of reliability and, and elegance. Uh, they had the traditional braking system and the larger six-cylinder engine with dull carburation and um, were very majestic uh, in appearance and they garnered all the oohs and ahs any time out. It is finished in its original dark blue over Tudor gray with the uh, lighter blue pen striping which was all done by hand. During the restoration the, uh, the body was taken down to the bare metal and there's not a scratch um, or imperfection in the paint uh, anywhere that I've been able to, to notice. It is absolutely uh, uh, spectacular. It comes equipped with a set of wide white wall radial tires which are the uh, correct width. Um, it has the scripted Bentley wheel covers that are painted and finished again with the, uh, uh, with the dual pinstripe. The bumpers on the Bentley um, when I acquired it did have several nicks and uh, so I went ahead and uh, and had a new set of uh, bumpers uh, implemented um, which are drop dead gorgeous and there's not a scratch on it uh, on them, on them uh, anywhere. The fit and finish on this S1 is uh, it is absolutely uh, spectacular. Uh, you can see the lines on the on the doors and um, they are they are exceptional. Uh, the restoration included uh, the complete exterior, the interior, uh, the Conley hides, the uh, Wilton wool carpeting, uh, and a number of mechanical upgrades uh, and enhancements. Uh, all of the numbers are matching. We have the original build sheet uh, and chassis card on the Bentley along with a complete portfolio of uh, the maintenance from new. It's been uh, owned by three owners from new. It has uh, 47,000 original fully documented miles. The Smith instrumentation is all fully functional. As you can see the dash is absolutely lovely. It comes with a four-speed automatic transmission. The fourth gear is uh, utilized as an open road touring uh, gear and the car is just an absolute joy to, to tour in and drive. It does come with power assisted steering and power assisted brakes, a power fuel door opener. It does have the, um, uh, the hydraulic injection system which uh, every 500 or so miles a pedal underneath the dash can be depressed which lubricates all of the uh, fittings underneath. Uh, the rear seating includes the dual picnic trays which are absolutely uh, beautiful. As you can see the Conley hides are exceptional and the Wilton Wool carpeting during the restoration uh, was all redone. It does come with, uh, with armrests uh, in the rear and dual armrests uh, in the front and vanity mirrors. Uh, with Again, the, the leather and the Wilton wool carpeting um, are just uh, absolutely beautiful. The, um, the overhead dome lamp is crystal. And as you can see, the headliner, which is original, is absolutely beautiful. As you can see, the rear seating area um, can accommodate three 
passengers uh, very, very comfortably. Um, and uh, three in the front as well. There are dual rear vanity mirrors with a cigar lighter in the rear. The cigar lighters in both the front and the back are unused from new. There's also a center armrest and two armrests on each end of the rear seat. There's also a lovely veneered pull-out writing table with an ash receiver that's unused uh, underneath the dash. Uh, as I indicated earlier, the instrumentation is all fully functional and it does have the original British AM-FM uh, radio. So it has not been altered. Uh, that is original and correct and it is fully functional. The trunk compartment is, uh, is show quality um, and it does include a um, very rare um, Bentley handbag with leather straps for filters, uh, belts, and spares. Uh, in addition, there is a, an unused set of small hand tools. which are absolutely beautiful, and a set of large hand tools, and the spare, and the jack. So the uh, trunk compartment has been finished to show quality. Uh, the engine compartment is, uh, is show quality. It uh, does have the Bentley uh, 4.9 liter six-cylinder engine, which was considered the standard of reliability back in the day and it has plenty of power and performance uh, and runs whisper soft uh, uh, at touring speed. The other side of the engine compartment again is show quality. Uh, Albers confirmed uh, based on the model numbers and the numbers of the carburetors that this does have the larger twin carburation. Uh, in addition, it has the reservoir for the uh, 90 weight oil which is utilized for lubricating the, uh, all of the fittings underneath. As you can see the braking system is, uh, and the reservoirs there are absolutely beautiful. Uh, braking system has been completely refurbished by um, the uh, Bentley dealership uh, which is all fully documented. Both Crawley and uh, the Bentley dealerships have done the maintenance on this car. So it was done to a very, very high standard. You could lick the air filter in this uh, uh, from the firewall up to the front. Uh, it is exceptionally clean. I don't know, Norm. That fan <laughs> it is turning. Wow. Beautiful.
Okay, we're taking Victoria out for a test drive. So that's her name, Victoria? That's her name. Okay. It's so weird sitting on the left-hand side. <laughs> I think the last time that I experienced this was on a, um, a Car Caribbean island trip, driving a Suzuki Samurai around for a while. That was odd. A friend of mine suggested the other day was sitting in the back seat of the Bentley and he was looking at the flying V head medallion on the front oh. grill and he said, Norm, it looks like that flying V is in a different county. <laughs> it's out there for sure. Victoria runs whisper soft and uh, her road manners are outstanding. She shifts nice and crisp through the full gear range. The front end is nice and tight. There's no play in the steering. The braking system is outstanding. There's no pulling when the brakes are applied. We're going through the, uh, the gear ranges now and Victoria shifts um, just fine. It is a four-speed automatic, and the fourth gear is primarily used as an overdrive or uh, for, for open road touring. Uh, but she is just an absolute pleasure to drive with excellent road manners. There's no shimmy or shaking in the wheels. No rattling in the car when you hit a bump, you can hear the tires going thump. It does have the vent mirrors both in the front and the rear for ventilation. 